Hey there, I'm Kai, this is my boy Ren, and here's some basic cinematography for G-Pose in 2 minutes and 20 seconds. For a more interesting composition, picture a 3x3 grid on your image and put your subject on one of the points. The closer the camera is, the more connected the audience feels with the character. Don't be afraid to show off environments with an extreme wide shot or to push the camera in close for more intimacy. A low camera angle puts your character in a position of power or dominance. A high camera angle puts them in a position of weakness or submission. When you tilt the camera at an angle, it creates a sense of tension, like something is wrong or offsetting. G-Pose has three lights for a reason. The key light is your main source of light, the fill light controls how light or dark the shadows are, and the backlight separates the subject from the background. Here's a color wheel. Just to get you started, try pairing opposite colors on the wheel. There's a ton of interesting stuff about color theory, I'd highly recommend looking it up. Depth of field determines how much of the shot is in focus and is great for adding cinematic quality to your pictures. Vignettes are great for drawing focus, making POV shots, or controlling overexposure around the edges of the image. G-Pose comes with default filters, which aren't too bad, but if you want to up your game, try combining the filter with the brightness slider and your three-point lighting for more unique combinations. Keep an eye on the world around you. Look for interesting backdrops, natural lighting, how different areas look at different times of day, etc. For example, the Steps of Faith has an unusually high contrast compared to the rest of the game. And I think that's it for now. Hopefully this is helpful to some people, and I'll see you guys later.